Alright y'all, it's Felix Fletcher back with another Dragon's Dogma video. In today's video I just finished the Honor and Treachery quest, which is one of the last stage 5 quests. And now I'm going to take on some new responsibilities and hopefully get some new cool gear. This is going to cause several quests to fail, but that's okay. I want to start the game over as soon as possible. Because I fucked up Madeline's quest uh, by rushing the game. I went to the catacombs too quickly. Fuck me. Uh, we'll need 20 wake stones, though. So I'm going to have to farm in the Everfall. But that's post game. I haven't even killed the dragon yet. The whole point of this playthrough was to get Madeline's shop and get the sexy female armor. Instead, I look like a fucking harpy winch. It seems the office of Arisen brings with it equal parts strength and I am greatly pleased. Come, follow me. I have all Yes, give me rewards. Come on, King. Let's get there someday. Soon. Nay, you've run aground, sir. Shut up. Ah, this special room. Oh, I should have known it was in here. I thought it was that area behind the curtain. <laughs> loot the treasury, loot the treasury. Strange. The worm ring. Ought hold sway over the lock that binds this chest. <laughs> no matter. I shall see its contents are delivered to you later. <laughs> the ring I gave him is a forgery. Dulled the ring's magic. Um, yeah, time has dulled the ring's magic. That's it. news, your grace. A messenger has come bearing word from the Great Wall. The hold has fallen to a man calling himself the leader of salvation. He's taken captive and threatens to offer up a grand sacrifice to see the land cleansed. Alright, we don't care. I want my rewards, please. Hey, you've run aground, sir. Golden Vasta.
What's in here? Yeah, I thought there was something else in here. That it? We'll come back for the Paladin's Cloak later. Oh, another gather spot. Don't want to miss that. I don't want to attack the king, though. Nothing? Alright, well, that's that. Make for the Great Wall. Reclaim the fortress at once. Alright, well, I'm gonna go gear up and stuff first. I think we're technically in stage six, so shops should have some new things. Oh, technically, it is nighttime, so. Shouldn't I be able to get the Paladin Cloak? Somehow. Alright, well, let's see if they clear out. And then I can loot the chest. No matter what. No matter what, that guard's gonna stay there, huh? So I have to leave and come back, I guess. Let's try that. Battle, no doubt. Oh, Fornival, where are you, dude? Fornival, where are you, dude? I hear you. There he is. Sweet. Talk to me. Talk to me. Ooh, talk to me. Make some shards. Oh, I'll take both of those. You know I will. I sold out of Wakestone shards. back in here. Alright y'all, I'm about to try to burgle the paladin mantle. I'm so nervous. So I already got caught once. The I have the real rain on me now. Ooh, good thing they didn't take that shit away. Um, it did open the chest, I did get the mantle, and then I got caught. Which fucking sucked. Well, hopefully this guy will move. Come on, move, 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 move. I'm just gonna use a fairy stone this time. I should have done that the first time. I got cocky. And it cost me 5,000. Let's see if it's back in here where it was before. Alright, let's just use a fucking fairy stone. Let's get out of here. That's what I should have done the first time. My bad. Alright, well that's it for the Rewards and Responsibilities quest. My advice is once you get the Paladin's Mantle with the Worm Ring, uh, just use a Fairy Stone and get out. Because <laughs> it's not worth getting caught, which cost me 5,000 gold.
Alright, well I hope that helps you get the Paladin Mantle. Thanks for watching.